Sure. Hello there, uh, and here we, are. here we are back with uh, uh, Tony Walker, Director of Training at Bristol Solutions. And uh, just a few questions uh, for you to talk about. Uh, uh, first, firstly, how do you get into RJ? Because you used to be a police officer. Uh, yeah, I was a member of Thames Valley Police for 30 years. And I guess when they introduced restorative approaches into policing generally, back mm -hmm. in the mid-90s, started there, been going ever since. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, what is your focus at the moment as a director of training? Um, it's always quality training and quality delivery. Um, but what we're finding now more and more frequently is that we need to develop a bespoke package for each particular organisation, be that housing organisation, be that police force. Um, so we're really looking to design absolutely bespoke packages for each person, client, organisation, be they um, using restorative approaches with domestic violence, be it with harmful sexual behaviour, be it with uh, victim hubs and victim centres. So very much about so, so you work with a, a wide array of uh, organisations such as housing associations and uh, civil centres and things like that, sports uh, uh, job clubs and things like that as well. I understand you're going into that. Um, okay, so what are the priorities for you at the moment uh, in terms of training and uh, how that's developing? Okay. Uh, as I said, it's always about quality, it's always about uh, revisiting quality. But currently, we're very much looking at continued professional development um, and sort of continued development of practitioners who already exist. So looking at how we can provide more services and more opportunities for them to develop their skills and their knowledge. Okay, that's very good. Uh, you'll have to keep us posted about how that develops. Um, what about... Uh, uh Accreditation, because I understand that uh, Research Solutions is running a scheme in partnership with uh, uh, Red Snapper uh, Learning. How's that going? What, what's the ethos on that? Okay, that's, that's, it's going really, really well. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, as you know, it's the, the practitioner training now attracts or gives the um, access to BTEC Level 3 mm -hmm. um, in restorative practice, which is, as I say, backed by Red Snapper, Pearson Group and NXL. We've developed that further in line with the idea of um, continued professional development and we now have um, a qualification which is BTEC Level 4 for case supervisors for more experienced uh, practitioners so they can go on to actually um, develop their skills in a workshop and then take that additional qualification so that they can support um, and develop their colleagues, their less experienced colleagues. Okay, and uh, um, what sort of benefits do you think that the creation brings to people and uh, first practitioners who undergo training, but also the organisations that are going to make use of their services? Okay, well, it's also market quality. It's, a, it's an easily understood qualification. People know what a BTEC is. So it allows people to recognise uh, a level of skills. It also allows the individuals to transfer their skills. So they actually become uh, able to actually present those skills and those qualifications to other prospective employers, other agencies, um, and again, it's a recognition of, um, of quality, so it helps all the way around. And that's very interesting. Well, um, Tony, I'm not going to take any more of your time. Thank you very much for uh, being with us for a moment. Uh, I will back to you at some point in the future, and you can tell us about how that's developing. That's Thank great. you. Thank you very much.